people have asked me before, like, if I could go to, like, a food rehab place or if I would go, like, to a hospital and have restricted eating or, you know, things like that. And honestly, I would do it in a heartbeat. I really would. I don't have insurance. I don't have the money for that kind of thing. But I wish more than anything that those things are free because I would be there. I think Amberlynn Reed is notorious for just saying a whole bunch of hogwash and then making it seem like she really cares about herself when in reality she really doesn't at all. Like I was watching her most recent video literally today and every other sentence was literally defined by the fact that there are things in her life that she cannot change and she's constantly always going to be depressed and there's nothing that she could do about it because she consistently blames it on her mental illness, which a lot of people have told me that she has undiagnosed BPD. I'm not really sure if it is or uh, is not undiagnosed. It is or it is or is not diagnosed or not. But I think it's a tremendous cop to consistently, consistently sit there and go, I can't do anything because I have this mental illness and everything I say has to be taken with a grain of salt because guess what? I'm mentally ill. Therefore, you should never take anything I say seriously. It's super, super cringe. And I don't understand how anybody even watches these people anymore. If that person is immediately, no matter what they do or say, it's almost always going to be, but I have this, but I have that. And it's just, it's, it's continuous. Like she's in a relationship now with Tommy, right? And she said she was super happy and she was super energetic about the relationship or whatever. But now she's like really, really depressed about it because I don't know, it's seasonal depression or whatever the fuck, right? And then she blamed it on the fact that she's really, really, um, she's really, really depressed, like in general. And it really sucks a lot of ass because Amberlynn Reed literally a month ago was saying, oh, Tommy makes me the happiest I've ever been in my entire life. Even when she got called out too, when Alexis was like, hey, if you don't know who these people are, I understand. But when, when people were calling out and they're going like, hey, um, didn't Tommy like literally make you cry your entire eyes out for like two days, like yesterday or something? And then she was like, oh, I mean, yeah, that did happen. But like, that was just a one-time thing. She would never do that ever again. You know, like Tommy's a really great person. This, that. It's always the copium. It's always the sniffing up the copium to try to make it seem like whatever's happening is valid in whatever way it is. And I'm really... I really don't like it when people don't have accountability, when people can't acknowledge. It's always like this manipulation tactic of um, somebody calls you out on your shit, and instead of, like, confronting it, what you'll then do is you'll, like, pivot away from it and try to defend something else from a different position. And then when somebody calls you out on that, you pivot and you pivot and you pivot. And it's never taken accountability. These people can never actually be pleased in any way because it's never their fault. And if it is their fault, sometimes they'll say, it is my fault. I would ra I would do this. That's also a manipulation tactic because these people are coming from it from a realm of, like, I can articulate what my problems are, and I know this is an issue, but they'll never do anything about it. They get a lot of value in telling you that they have issues, but that doesn't mean necessarily they're going to do anything about it. So it's just like a, an endless an endless oral boros, uh, or like a black guy sucking his own dick of just saying, I'm going to do something about it, but eh, maybe one day. So it's, it's just like, it's, it's an endless, like, I don't know, um, mythical hunt of weight loss, but never doing anything about it. Oh, and then also not being depressed because, you know, hashtag BPD or whatever. I don't want to die. By the, by the way, this is 2016, so this is like almost 10 years ago when she was saying this shit, and uh, literally nothing has changed, almost li literally nothing, um, which is really, really sad because, like, I don't know how much longer you can go down this length of, like, it, you know what I'm saying? This path is pretty linear. Like, you could see at the end of the road what, what this is going to lead to, right? Just cuts right off. Like, there's a road, and then boom, it just goes all the way down. Like, that one episode of SpongeBob when he was going down to the... Uh, he was getting the balloon fest or whatever, and the bus literally took him off the edge and it just like went down completely. And everybody talked like, <laughs> right? That's what it's like. So, except it's death. So for Amberlynn Reed to be making these videos back in 2016 is uh, very, very depressing to watch <laughs> because she's still in the same predicament. Um, and by the way, she picks up everybody, um, no matter who she's in a relationship with, it seems like that's the person that she is in that relationship at that time, right? So like when she was with Destiny, Destiny seems like she was a little bit more aggressive. And so therefore, Amberlynn was pretty aggressive. Becky was pretty passive. And I think that uh, Amberlynn probably resented her for being passive because I don't think Amber really likes to be in relationships with people that are very, 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 very passive because it's not fun for her to compete. Like Amber just got fundamentally whatever she wanted. And then when she was in the relationship with Wifey, she was a little bit more aggressive. So I guess she liked that, but they broke up pretty early. I guess, uh, you know, Wifey really didn't want to put up with that. And now that she's in the relationship with Tommy, um, I don't know, actually. I guess it's like a good meeting ground right there. I don't know. We'll, we'll see what it looks like. I mean, they've only been dating now for like, what, three months? We'll see what it looks like in like six months. 
I understand like that is like the stupidest thing to say because everyone dies. But it's like it's not stupid to say you don't want to die. It's it's perfectly valid because usually when people say like it's okay to die, they're usually talking about like normal situations of death, right? But not like when you're talking about your very very extreme situation of death, which is like morbid obesity and your body literally have to power a 500 600 pound body consistently for decades of your life. That's going to be significantly different, right? <laughs> Obviously. Like I don't want to die young. Yeah, no shit. Everybody knows that. You didn't have to And sometimes dying isn't just Oh, she's dead. Let's go have a funeral. Sometimes dying. Yeah, you're not going to be able to get a. Yeah, there's not going to be a casket that's going to be able to fit that, right? Dying is like where I'm already at. This oh, oh, I thought I thought she was saying like the logistics of a funeral would be ridiculous and like how who the fuck is going to be able to like hold up that casket or whatever. I mean, maybe that was I don't know. Maybe I'm just a bad person. Like I'm already dead. I don't get to do the things that a normal 25 year old gets to do. <laughs> 25? She was 25 here. Okay. Um, that sucks, dude. Damn, she she looks she does not look 25 here, bro. If you had told me that she was like 33 here, I would have been like, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, she's totally 33, right? That's crazy as hell. The fat does age you 100%. And it hurts, you guys. And I don't know what to do. Just like lose weight, practice a calorie deficit, maybe put yourself in a position where somebody else can help you. But you know, if I'm being honest with you, um, Ozempic didn't work. Literally, she was on Ozempic. She just stopped taking it because she said that it wasn't worth it for her. She stopped seeing progress after like <laughs> a week or two. She said she was literally out eating the Ozempic. So, I mean, at this point, um, and she like doubled the dose or some shit like that. So at this point, I don't really know what we could do in order to alleviate Amberlynn Reed. At this point in my, in my existence, some people can just not be changed and there's literally nothing you can do in order to help these people it's like i've had some friends in my life that were drug addicts or people that had a a, a big problem with uh, substance abuse and as much as I could tell these people and as much as they could tell me oh I know it's a problem I know it's bad I know it's like it's hurting me I know that I don't have teeth left I know that I'm literally like you know burning brain cells and this and that they'll tell you this stuff um but guess what after like 30 minutes after that conversation guess what they're doing they're they're back on the street they're finding the heroin they're finding whatever they need uh, because ultimately it doesn't matter that's not like their their problem is not the fact that they're on this drug the problem is that they continuously go back to the drug okay and they'll tell you that they're not going to but they'll do it right after um, because a lot of people in the moment feel like, yes, I will do this, but like later on, they don't feel that same way because things have changed. You know, now you're still, now you're starting to feel the effects of whatever the addiction is. So like, for instance, in Amber's case, it would be the food, you know, showing up at Walmart, going down the snack aisle and seeing all those Oreos, Doritos and, you know, sun chips or whatever the fuck Amber eats. And then, you know, her mouth is watering, thinking about all those sweet delicacies in her mouth. It's a different situation. So, uh, at this point. I guess if you're like hate watching Amberlynn Reed or whatever, I guess it's okay. But uh, nobody should be watching Amberlynn Reed and expecting her to change because there's nothing she can do. At this point, you're just watching a walking dead person um, or somebody that's just realistically, um, slowly but surely suffering on a daily basis. It's sad, but true. <laughs> and also it's like, I don't really care that she's crying. Cause like, what is this even supposed to do for me? Like you, you, it, Amberlynn Reed has been called out so many times for lying and like emotionally abusing people and then like also gaslighting people into thinking that she actually cares about herself because she cried like 15 times in a year or something like that. But it doesn't matter ultimately because you're not doing anything about it. Like you can cry all day long, but then if you go right back to sucking dick for your crack money, then like, I don't fucking care. Ethan, I'm sitting here like doing this right now. Definitely sitting, yeah. And also recently, um, she was crying too again. About the fact that she's super depressed and she thought that Tommy was going to be the the light that was going to lift her out of her endless pit of despair. Which is never going to be the case because like you shouldn't be relying on other people to make you happy. You should be probably relying on yourself to make your help, make yourself happy and probably maybe MK bags, right? Or like uh, coach bags. Those probably make you happy too, right? I don't know. Double chin on fleek. And we're gonna go to La Ha, which is La Hacienda, which is one of my favorite restaurants. And when I go there, all I get is chicken, rice, and beans, and it's so freaking good. I just can't. It's also, <laughs> look at this decoration of pizza boxes, dude. I love that, man. Just a random pizza box chilling. Domino's back there, dude. Beautiful, Amber. Really clap, 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 clap. She got that. She got that nice Native American look on too, man. Very beautiful, Amber. Very demure. Very cutesy. Obviously, you just were crying about the fact that you don't want to die early and then going right to a restaurant right after that. Can't make it up. It is what it is. That's how Amber rolls. Literally. Even that's She only rolls. That's how it is. Okay. So, let's go.
doesn't look good at all. It, j it just looks like slop. Like, this meat sauce on the left over here looks like cat food. I used to, you know, I used to have a cat, and I, I still have old cans of cat food that I should probably give away. And sometimes what I'll do is I'll feed the local cats or the strays or whatever when I see a, a cat where I live. And I'll uh, throw out a can of cat food for the strays or something every once in a while. But I haven't seen a stray in a little bit of time because I used to live in the garage behind my house. But they demolished that garage about last year, and I haven't seen any of the cats since. So it's really sad that those cats have not returned. But then again, they don't have a place to live, which is really suck booty because like man cats are such great people man i mean granted they're dirty as fuck cats are really fucking dirty even the ones at the house the ones at the crib the ones that live with you they're really dirty and i know a lot of people sit there and go no cats are some of the most cleanly creatures on the planet they are i'm sure but like when was the last time you ever saw a cat wash his hands i've never seen that now they do the licking or whatever dude but so what, bro? I'm not, I don't, like, are you gonna place your lips upon your cat's back when he's done licking himself? How the fuck no, bro? I see what my, I used to see what my cat used to do, bro. Two in one, ass to mouth, literally type shit. I'm not doing that. Fuck off me, bro. Um, so obviously you gotta cleanse your cat with the soap upon their skin and wash them off. Um, but cats are overall really great people. I mean, obviously I wouldn't be touching cats out in public. Fuck that. But, you know, still overall, I think cats are amazing, beautiful specimens of humanity. Um, I don't know what we're talking about. So, by the way, at the bottom left-hand corner, it says one vlog later. So, probably, like, the next day. And it's almost kind of like when you're in a relationship with somebody like this, do you even care? Um, I know that Destiny here has spoken out and said, like, listen, I was literally emotionally and, like, physically checked out of this relationship um, within a few months of being in it. Because Amber, like, has a way of breaking you down consistently. Like, maybe you have morals. Maybe you think in a certain way. Um, and then when you get in a relationship with Amber, it's just so difficult to be in a relationship with her because she wants what she wants. She's going to get what she wants. And if you don't give what she wants, um, she's going to complain. She's going to argue. She's going to have all these problems with you. And Destiny literally had said that they had bought her a wedding ring or a promise ring. Was it a promise ring? Destiny had brought, bought her a promise ring because she kept complaining about it. She kept overall day in day out complaining about the fact that she never had a promise ring so destiny literally one day was like fuck it i just don't want this i just don't want this person to ever complain again about this particular issue so they bought her a promise ring which is really sad because you're not buying that person a ring or whatever piece of jewelry or whatever it is for the reason of love or care or whatever you're buying it to shut them up and uh that's never gonna work because it's one thing and then it's another thing you know it's never satisfying you're you, what you're own what you're doing is short term satisfaction short short term satisfaction the the ultimate problem never goes away it's still there all you did was put a bandaid on it that person's going to continuously complain and complain and complain and we see that with amber I already ate some last night, but Beautiful. I'm about to eat this bowl of- That's a lot of Cheetos, Amber. That's a lot of fucking Cheetos. I, I don't know why she thinks this is like an appropriate amount, maybe because it's hitting the brim. Hot Cheetos. Like, what? I should not be eating this the first thing I wake up. Oh, this is a breakfast in the morning, waking up and eating hot Cheetos, man. But I am, because that's what I want, and I don't care today. Like True. Why would I care at all? Let's be honest here for a second, dude. Caring is for plebeians. Not like me, though. I don't have enough money to go in to get, like, weight loss surgery or enough money to go in to get, like, actual hell, but I do got enough money to eat hot Cheetos in the morning. I know, that sounds so bad. Do whatever I want. Yeah, I love how Amber will just say that shit. I think, to a certain degree, she's doing this because she knows that it pisses off the, the fan base, um, and it shows that she has no consistency, but, uh, you know what? I guess her life. And I'm just being brutally honest. Hubba hubba. Whoa! We're going to go out to eat. Whoa. Okay. I don't blame Destiny, dude. Um, sometimes people just... Okay, maybe I do blame Destiny a little bit because she was in a relationship with this individual and it's really hard sometimes when you're in a relationship, though, um, to actually talk about the real issues because if you do talk about issues, maybe something comes up that you don't want to talk about and maybe that ends the relationship or maybe that puts a big conflict on the relationship. It's really difficult. I feel like a lot of people don't realize this, but when you're in a real, real, real relationship... Um, there are going to be moments in in these relationships, it's going to happen, where there's going to be problems and they're going to be big problems. And sometimes you know the problems are there, but you just don't want to talk about them because you know if you do, um, you might lose that relationship or something detrimental might occur into that relationship and maybe you don't look at each other the same way. And that sucks a lot of dick, but if you don't have these conversations, then – um, it's only gonna fester, it's only gonna grow. And sure, for the short term, when you're smelling their vagina or they're glazing you, um, that might be fine. It might be great in that moment when you're not thinking about it. But like, let, like, 
all things considered, that next day, you're going to start feeling that shit. And it's going to be a problem because it's not it, the issue has not gone away. And the same thing could be said here in the relationship with somebody like Amberlynn Reed, who just consistently complains about the fact that she's gaining all this weight and dying of being overweight. And then, you know, like you're in a relationship with this person, you want to hold them accountable, but you just don't want to because, you know, if you do, it's going to be a big conflict. You just don't want to deal with that. So I really understand that. I've been in situations like that. We've never been to this restaurant before. She's been begging to go to it for a little while now. Which is terrible. Like, I get it. You know, restaurants. No, I don't get it. I don't really give a fuck about restaurants, to be honest. Like, I don't, I don't, you know, I, I know a lot of people sit there and they like restaurants and like going in the environment of eating and things like that. I, I, what am I doing? Like paying $17 for a double cheeseburger? Dude, suck my dick, bro. I'm not doing that shit. It's fucking crazy. Suck me off. I don't know why so many people love going to restaurants, getting like basic shit that you can get. Go to the frozen food section and just buy the Marie Callender's, uh, you know, sweet and sour chicken with a, with the fucking broccoli on the side. Dude. I, don't, I don't fucking care. Like how much was this plate? Literally, probably like nine, ten dollars dude. Suck me down. So this is my first plate. I first plate is crazy as fuck, by the way. Some rice, some broccoli, chicken. Fingers look fully inflated. This is like a peanut chicken, crab rangoon, and some shrimp, and some sushi. Damn. So this is my leftover food on this plate, and my leftover food on this plate. I just didn't care for the sushi very much, so. Got something else? Where's the dessert? Um, I go up and get more. Oh, this is a buffet? Oh, okay. Well, I guess the first plate. I thought she meant first plate as in, like, that was her first plate and the second plate was the sushi, but I guess it's a buffet. Uh, crazy as fuck. Crazy as hell. So my next plate is fries. I got a little bit of this crab stuff and more white rice because it's, like, my favorite thing ever with some Mongolian beef. I don't really know if I'm going to Mongolian eat beef, beef dude. Yet. You guys know about that Mongolian throat dance shit? That... I think I, mean, I do that pretty well, shit. dude. I remember one time I did that, and I remember some dude was like, yo, can you do that on dick? So this is what is left over of that plate. I did not like that in any way. Just, that ugh, Mongolian shit. Not good. So now I got some <laughs> butter pecan ice cream, which is like one of my favorite ice creams. Destiny and I just had Denny's, and she's in there paying for it. Of it's course. Like a little cutie. This is me. Damn. Damn, that's... Why so many jars? So many mason jars over there. Those are mason jars, right? Got a lot of calves. A lot of calves. Weird portions on Amber, dude. I, I, I know that Amber thinks that she's really attractive, but come on. This is Amber Lynn. Okay. Damn. Seeing these videos and these photos... A lot of jewelry. Does it, I, one thing I've seen about Amber is like she just loves buying shit. Like she cannot keep her like that. It's like the money is just burning a hole in her pocket. Though. She's got to spend it somewhere and she just buys useless ass shit. Now, granted, I'm not a girl, so I don't understand like leggings and I don't understand like buying Crocs and, you know, those those butt plugs that you put into Crocs. And I don't really understand like clothes in general. Like this is my first. I actually just bought like two pairs of pants for the first time in like probably five, six, seven years. Um, I don't really like buying clothes personally. I like buying Star Wars toys because I like looking at them and I really like Star Wars. I guess I'm just, I, I just don't really understand it, dude, to be honest. Like it just doesn't make any sense to me to buy as many clothes as people do. Um, I remember so many times where I'd be hanging out with girls and I remember these girls would be on their phone. I'd be like, hey, what are you watching on TikTok? I'd be like, I'm not on TikTok. I'm like, oh, what do you want? Like YouTube? No, not on YouTube. I'm like, oh, what do you want? I'm on Sheen. I'm on Sheen. And I'm like, what are you, what, what are you talking about? Why are you, why are you on Shein? Oh, I'm just adding stuff to my cart. You want to see my cart? And I was like, sure. Look at the cart. It was just like random shit. It was just like, oh yeah, like two for nine, two for 99 cents rings that were fake, obviously. Um, random shirts that have things on them that say almost nothing at all. Or, you know, like nail clippers that were obviously going to break in like 25 seconds. Or, you know, like those, uh, those stuff those strip those strip vine things that you can hang off your wall or whatever did um it's just like bullshit a whole bunch of bullshit and don't get me wrong i obviously buy bullshit too but uh like you, how often do you spend on the like if i went through your phone and i just saw like the number one most used apps you know they have like the timer based off how much you use it am i gonna see like am i gonna see like uh Shein or like amazon as like the number one most used apps like isn't that crazy is that not crazy bro i don't know man Obviously, I presume that Amberlynn Reed probably has Uber Eats as the number one most used app. I could be wrong, but it's probably like, you know, DoorDash as well. And just my reflections 
And Amber's really lazy. I'm gonna call her out for this shit, bro. Amber Lynn literally only uploaded like two videos in the last month, okay? Which is insane, bro. Come on, you put, put more effort into your videos. And a lot of people want to see more of Amber Lynn Reed, but it's almost kind of like, like she feels like, I feel like Amber is so incredibly entitled to think that people just want to see her regardless. And she is really privileged to be in a classification where YouTube can be her job. And she could just not upload in literally a month and then finally do upload a video, which is a bullshit ass video of her just, I don't know, talking about random shit. And then people show up for it. Like that is such a privileged category. And these people are like starving, not in the same way that Amber is, of for content. And she's just not, she's not giving it out because she's just inherently like very, very lazy. And I know she is because the, the first reason why she gave for not uploading content was because she was gonna go hang out with Tommy, um, which is valid, it's fine. But then it's been two months, and then she says the reason why she hasn't making content in like the last month or two is because she's been depressed. Damn, bro, that's crazy. And you know what, that's fine, like I get it, like you're depressed. It's just really convenient that you haven't uploaded and all this stuff is just due to depression and things like that. Even when I had like COVID, um, and I was like super sick or whatever, I still managed to upload videos. Like I still managed to put out these videos and stuff like that, even when I was like very, very sick. And you guys can check back to like this time around last year, I had COVID, um, but, the point I'm making is like Amber is extraordinarily lazy of a person and if she doesn't have somebody in her life to tell her to do it, I genuinely don't think that she would. This is what is gonna help me better myself and I really hope that this is just the last time that I ever, ever. I wonder if she smells like bad. I wonder what like odor she emanates off her body because like you can't like using deodorant. Sometimes I miss out. Sometimes I don't wear deodorant on certain days. Um, but I can probably skate by, you know, I had a friend in my, in my friend group that made a stick of deodorant last four years. And that's a normal thing for a lot of guys, to be honest. Like most guys forget they have deodorant or like they don't have it in places that they, they should have them. Like for me, for instance, I have it next to my bed. So that way when I wake up, I can just apply. I don't take showers in the morning. I take showers at night, but I know a lot of dudes that just have their deodorants like under their bed or like maybe they just found it somewhere. You know what I'm talking about? Sometimes you just don't even know where it is. Like I remember I was talking to this one guy one time and he was like, bro, um, can you bring deodorant with you? And I was like, my deodorant? He was like, yeah. And I was like, no, uh, you're not using my deodorant. That's fucking gross. What are you talking about? He's like, where's your deodorant? He was like, I don't know where I put it. Like I forgot where I put it. I think I was like, I think I had it with me one day and then it disappeared or whatever. Like a lot of guys just don't have it. You know, and when was the last time you even saw a guy in the deodorant section at a grocery store or wherever else you buy deodorant? You don't really see it at all, dude. It's like, it's like, it's an anomaly to see a guy down that aisle. So, and a lot of guys don't even know what deodorant's for. You know, they're like, I don't sweat. But then they, when they do sweat, they'd be smelling like must. Anyway. I have to feel this way as deeply as I do. It's no deep. There's no. It's like a mile wide and inch deep for Amber Lynn Reed. Like I'm sure she has a lot of emotions. But one thing I've said about Amber before is that if you really want to manipulate Amber, and I'm gonna give you guys a really good manipulation tactic for not a lot of people, but definitely for a certain set of people. If you know that they're already emotionally in distress, um, some of these people are in categories where it doesn't really matter what they're feeling, but as long as they're feeling something, if you can have somebody that likes you. And you sit there and you give them a whole bunch of stuff and then you take it away and then you give them it again and you like it's it's like all these different things happening occurring at the same time. A lot of times I feel like for somebody like Amberlyn Reed and other people, I've had these situations before. It's not so much about feeling good, it's about feeling in general. So like these people will sit there and they'll go, Oh my god, like this person's making me feel so much. Like I'm just sitting here and this like he doesn't like me or he does like me and he he said this about me, he said this bad word about me, but you know, he he, he still loves me because he said he loves me and this and this. And I know that's how Amber is because she's literally said that. Like she's literally said verbatim many many times like this person makes me feel like shit, but I love them because um just just how inconsistent the, the consistency is. And that is so telling for somebody like Amber. Um, for somebody like Amber, you could probably manipulate them into liking you within maybe a day if you really know how to play your cards, man. If you just like were very, very, very like off and on, I feel like you could easily do it. Don't do that, by the way. It's really fucked up to do. Okay, be a consistent person. I'm, I'm, I'm repulsive. Like I can actually sit here and say that and mean that. But it doesn't mean anything. Like these words are completely meaningless. I don't know why. I don't know why anybody even takes anything Amber says anymore as serious. Given the fact that she sits there and she gaslights everybody into believing this shit. You know, fool me once, shame on me. Fool me 18 times in a year. Jesus Christ, I'm not stupid, Amber. Jesus. And that is sad. That is very. Very sad. I think she genuinely probably not like I'm sure that there's some truth to this when she's talking about this, but ultimately it doesn't matter because it's like it nothing ever gets changed. I could finally see it. <laughs> All the hate I've been getting for so long and it's not even like 
Again, it's not even vanity. It's not even like my personality that's gross. It's literally- well, let's be honest for a second, dude. Let's be honest, okay? Obviously, being obese is not good. It's de definitely terrible in terms of like your, you know, aesthetical appearances and stuff like that. Your personality is shit. Let's be honest here for a second. You don't have a personality. Your personality is quite literally whoever you're dating at that particular time or whatever YouTube video or TikTok video that you saw on that day. You don't have a personality. You are a culmination of a, a bunch of different people. And depending on those people, that is who you are on that day. You don't have a personality. The person that you actually are also, um, when that does eventually peek through or whatever, is a shit human being because you can never take accountability and you don't ever call yourself out on it. And when you do call yourself out about it, you don't actually mean it. And it's fucked up. You do it so often. So if you're sitting here and you're saying my personality isn't shit, yes, it is. Your personality is garbage. It's literally just Loch Ness monster versions of terrible. It's like, it's just literally swamp thing. It's just terrible, disgusting, and gooey. And it doesn't smell good either. I'll die on that, dude. I'll, I'll, be, I'll, I'll be the first one to tell you that. Really, the disease that's gross, the, my constant need for food. <laughs> and your forgiveness of it. Like, the fact that you say this. Like, you do understand this has more to do with your personality and the way you justify things rather than with the way you look. Like, it, the way you look is irrelevant given the fact that the only reason you look like this is because you don't have consistency and you're you're incredibly you never take accountability as well i'm scared we just woke up a little bit ago and i think we're gonna go get some like mexican food mm. as you guys know i'm like on this weight loss journey kick today is the 18th day of or the no the 19th one of the two of counting calories when i do go out to eat i definitely make sure to count my calories sometimes i'll even count calories before i get there so i already have a whole plan you shouldn't even be going out to eat in general like if you weigh 500 fucking pounds you should probably be dialing that shit in bro this is like a life this is a life-threatening disease you have set in motion before i even get there because i do go out to eat a lot i've been trying to go out to eat less than usual but when i do go out to eat because i'm not gonna like I don't know. I feel like I can't take that, like, away yet. So I just don't do it as often. Like, I used to do it almost daily. Damn. So now I just really do it on the weekends. But yeah, I think we're going to get... Damn, what a, what a privileged category of life Amber lives in. Can you imagine literally complaining that you have no money to go into rehab or whatever the fuck she needed to do in order to get this, like, down back and then also be complaining about the fact that now you... Oh, I used to eat out literally every day, but now I only have to do it twice a week. Oh, my God. Can you believe that? How much money do you have? Jesus Christ, woman. Mexican food, I'm pretty excited. I'm probably going to get a fajita because that's my favorite thing to get and plus it's filled with veggies like jam-packed with I them. love that she thinks that just because she says it's filled with veggies somehow that qualifies her for eating out I love that veggies, so it makes me feel a little bit better that's a lot we're at steak and shake I'm drinking myself a wawa a wawa a wawa Oh my god, look at the fucking, the, the prices of these things is insane, dude. Wow, that's like almost an exact double up on the price. That's crazy as fuck, dude. That's insane. That's insane. I'm gonna keep it a buck with you guys. Bro, if you're gonna like double up the prices, sorry, if you're gonna double from a single to the double, and there's not that much of a difference here, this should be like, what, 26 bucks, but it's 24, so $2 difference? Bro, Make it an even like 22, 23, make it an even 23, make it an even 22, make it an even 21. This is crazy as hell. These prices are ridiculous. And this is 2017 prices. Pre-COVID. Do you have to eat the appetizers? Do you really have to? Jesus, man. It doesn't even look that good. It looks like they burnt the fuck out of that. I watch older videos of mine and... Like, especially when I first started YouTube. Bro, wipe I... your face. Good lord, woman, man. What do we... Please, just get a baby wipe and just wipe that shit up, dude. Look like a look like a, a wet diaper. 360 Ugh. pounds. <laughs> and I'm 200 pounds heavier now. Big! Big as fuck. What? Because you've been eating. You've been eating a lot of food. You've been satisfying your lips for too long. You've been monster mashing goodness in your throat for too many months. You've been doing that shit daily, nightly, and weekly. You've been doing it every day of your life. You gotta calm the fuck down. There needs to be a moment where you hit the pause button, girl. Do you like who else are we gonna blame besides you? Your eyebrows are not even existing. 
Like, I'll never, ever give up. <laughs> I guess it depends on what you mean by give up. If you're if you're just like doing nothing, do you, is that like you not giving up? I guess. I mean, no, I can't say that. Like if if somebody says like I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make a passive effort and just never give up on the fact that I'm gonna get off drugs. But like you're sitting there and you're injecting yourself with heroin while you say it. Like I understand what you're saying. Like you're never give up in your life. But if nothing ever gets done, then you're not doing shit to begin with. It's not even the fact that you're not gonna give up. You've never even started to begin with. But it's so weird. It feels like I already did. Well, yeah, you did. You, you like, obviously did. Like, if you're sitting here saying, like, you're going to try to lose weight and you don't do anything in order to lose weight, then, yeah, you haven't done shit. Like, you obviously haven't even started. Because I gained so much weight. Yeah, you started a weight loss. <laughs> Starting a weight loss journey and then gaining weight is meta. Fat. I don't know if I'll upload this, but if I do, it's because I want people to see. What a fucking, what a shit human being, bro. Every time I watch these videos about Amber, bro, what a fucking virtue signaling, sympathy farming, just absolute horrid human being. Make no mistake about it. This video that she uploaded here is not a cry for help. It's not a cry for like, like she's not acknowledging anything. She uploaded this video because she wanted people to feel bad for her. What a fucking dirty human being. That's just, that's absolutely disgusting behavior, dude. Like, why would you ever want somebody to feel bad? I just don't understand the motives of this person, man. That's so diabolically terrible. The fact that you would sit here and say, I'm not, I don't know if I'm going to upload this video, but if you see it, just know. Just know what? That you're big as fuck and you're crying on camera for sympathy farms, bro? Get your shit together. You're a grown woman, man. If you don't want to gain weight, don't gain weight. Lose some fucking calories. But this is what could happen to you. No, I don't know about that. <laughs> you kind of crazy for assuming this will happen to me. I hope you were talking about the collective and not me specifically, but, but just so everybody knows, I am a part of the collective. This never would happen to me. I see what happened to you, but I'm all right. I see the brain decom the, the brain decompositions, or sorry, the, the brain decompositions. Uh, you're stupid. You're dumb. Your brain got to be smooth as fuck. And you know what's really... Whenever I see Amber Lynn talking to anybody, it's kind of feels so bad to know that you just always lose, right? No matter what you talk about, you just so consecutively shit at anything that you say that it can always be contradicted. Don't you ever feel bad knowing that you're literally a dumb person? Um, but you know what I thought about? I don't think they do. I don't think Amber does care because I don't think that she has the ability to. I don't think that she ever registers that she was wrong or like it was that big of a deal to feel bad about the fact that she was wrong, if that makes any sense. Like a child almost. You know when you call call a, ch a child out for their shit and you go like, it, they, 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 like they, they steal something and you know they stole it because they have it on video or whatever. And you go like, you stole this. And they go, do, do I did it. And you show them the video of them stealing and then they'll pivot to something else. Like, okay, but like, you know, Jerry B also stole it too. But like, stop, bro. You stole this shit. Same thing with Amber. Um, I just wish somebody would be there to just say, hold on, let's talk about it. Let's really hone in on this because I would love to see Amber just, quit, just shivering in her diabetes shoes. I don't know, diabetic shoes. <laughs> There are people out there who watch me who are in their 400s. Okay. Don't let it get worse, please. Who are you? <laughs> who are you? Who do you think you are, bro? Are you like some kind of motivational speaker, like people that are in their 400s? How many people do you think that is? Like four, four people of your audience are 400 pounds, and you're like, yeah, just make sure it doesn't get bad, worse than that. 400 pounds ain't good either, Amber. That's big as hell. I had so many people tell me. <laughs> Don't let it get worse. It's already and bad. I listen. And I know there's people out there who are like 170 pounds and they watch me. That's, I would say that's a majority. So they don't gain more weight. I don't blame you. I don't. Okay. It's not. This is the worst. Can you blow your nose and wipe your face? Like, what are we even doing here? Like, having a mental breakdown that's obviously a facade on camera so people feel bad for you. What a shit you've been being. Imprisonment in the world. It really is. And what are you gonna do to get yourself out of this prison? Anything? Literally anything at all? Is there is there any type of motive for you? Is there is there any type of motivation? Is there nothing that you're gonna do? Is just you crying on camera for 10 minutes and then do it, like, right after this dungeon? Just... Hit the stop record. Oh, anyway, 
Let me just go ahead and see if, uh, let's go see if Ricky's on my DoorDash order. Oh, he's down the street. Damn, that double Chipotle bowl. That shit's about to be good in my mouth. I bet that's exactly what it was. And you don't want to be a part of this, trust me. Thank you, babe. Welcome, babe. Oh my gosh, I'm so hungry. Damn. Mm -mm. I love sandwiches like this. You love everything, right? I've, I'm, I've literally heard her say the same shit about many, many things. Look at this gay ass shit she's got back here, love. And we're gonna be doing a spaghetti mukbang. So this is actually leftovers from last night. Becky and I went to a restaurant we've never went to. It was called BJ's. We were actually doing lots of Christmas shopping. Mm. Um. Oh my god. Thank you, Amber. Mm. Okay. I have a dietitian, y'all. <laughs> Saying that as I just see you eating, what is it, Burger King? I have a dietitian, y'all. Burger King in my mouth. <laughs> By the way, that dietitian that she was talking about was just some random person that she had met on Instagram that hit her up, said I was a dietitian, and then stopped talking to her after literally four days because they realized that she was gonna do anything. She wasn't gonna do anything at all. You know, I'm not just. I like I like the shirt though. I like the shirt a lot. I really do appreciate stripes. Two hundred pounds, and I need to lose a little bit of weight. <sighs> Sometimes I like to think that. What? I like to be delusional for a minute. Sometimes I like to, sometimes what I like to do is I like to go into the supermarket and just buy a ton of tomato sauce, a ton, a ton of it, like a lot, like an entire cart full of tomato sauce. And then go into my, go into my bathroom, pop the jars and then just pour them out into the jar, it, pour the jars into the, into the tub and then get completely naked, completely naked, just, just balls, nuts hanging out, whatever. And then I'm just so embrace i just want I'm, i know it's delusional but like hear me out okay i like to get into the tub and just lay down and like you know fetal position myself into the into the the jars of spaghetti sauce and then just pretend that i'm a meatball cooking in a italian pot and there's a big strong italian man that's seasoning me and slowly be telling me that i'm gonna satiate somebody's mouth and you know that's what i like to do i mean is that weird is that weird probably not it's not that weird right don't act like that's weird don't act like that's weird. You know you do weird stuff. Don't act like you don't have people sucking your toes. You got people sucking your toes. I know you do. My thing is not nearly as weird as yours. Because it's just so hard to constantly think about what's right in front of me, the truth. But I think that's what kept me so big for so long. But you're still big, though. You just gained more weight after this is that you know no anyways <laughs> my point is i need to do better okay i need to do better than intuitive eating i need to lose weight <laughs> a little who would have known that you need to lose weight faster and lose weight then a little faster you had to lose weight a little faster um as opposed to losing no weight by the way i feel like you, you can imagine losing no weight and going i need to lose more than this nothing you know it's kind of kind of it's kind of kind of like it's got to be weird when you like touch your face and then you have more face you know what i'm talking about like if i'm sitting here and i'm, I'm touching my face like i have this right i've had this for a while but can you imagine having like 30 percent more face over here or like on the cheek or like behind your neck or whatever and then just grabbing onto it and you could like pull it and like move it around and stuff like that it's gotta be kind of weird right is that weird i don't know i've never had a situation where i had like 30 or 40 percent more face somebody can let me know i'm like shaking i don't know why it's probably the uh, high blood pressure I'm so mad. I don't even want to like admit it and talk about it, but I overate big time. Um, I had Dairy Queen. Oh, damn. And I still have some of it left. Um, I had fries, onion rings, and chicken strips. 
So just throw it away. Like, if you know it's bad, just, like, toss it. Just toss it in the trash. You don't have to eat it. You know that, right? Like, you could just not eat that. Like, I understand you made a mistake one time, but, like, you know, you could just take it. Just toss it. Throw it away. I don't need it anymore. Fuck it. That's, uh, what do I need that for, bro? I'm, I'm already 500. I'm already 600 pounds. Fuck it. I don't need this shit. Toss it away. But I guess not. And a blizzard, which... So throw it I away. the whole thing. Okay. Um... <sighs> Toss it. Throw it away. And I had a Dairy Queen blizzard. Okay. So I was going to get food. You be satisfying your mouth too much. Too much, bro. You can't just be marinating your lips like this. Food from there, and I had to stop myself. But I got a and you're literally sucking the remnants of whatever's left on your lips. I literally just saw you do it. Talk about some. I need to. St I had to stop myself. Ugh. Heath Blizzard and it's forty four points. Yeah, no fucking shit. It's literally how many calories is this? Like Blizzard shit. This has got to be like a thousand calories. That is why I love Weight Watchers. Why? Okay. Wouldn't it have been better to just like, okay, how many calories do I need a day? Let's say 2,000. You look at the Blizzard ice cream and you go, okay, that's 1,000. Okay, that's half my day and it's not even a meal. So maybe I just don't eat that. Why didn't you look it up what it was before you ate it? How can you body slam that shit? And then after you proceed to body slam it, you look at the app and go, oh, damn, that's just kind of big, but it's already in my mouth. So I'm going to show you guys the first thing I'm going to eat. I guess crazy as fuck. That'd be like literally going to a glory hole. And then you start sucking on a guy, and then you're like, wait up, hold up, but, 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 hold up, wait a minute. Is this a penis? Is this a penis I'm looking at? Is this a ginormous BBC that I've been placing my lips upon for 25 minutes? That's gay. That's, I can't but, 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 but. That's what you just did. Why, after you acknowledge how much it was, why would you then proceed to continue to eat it? Like, you already knew it was bad. You kept going. You knew it was bad. You still did it. It'd be one thing if you didn't know it was a penis, but it's another thing entirely to know it's a penis and then still keep going. That's crazy. So I ordered Mexican food. Yep. Here are the chips. Greasy. Mexican rice. And we have some tamales. Tamales. Honestly, this looks freaking delicious. I don't think so. It looks kind of fermented to so me. I am super pumped and I'm going to watch a cold. TV show while I eat this and numb all my feelings so Crazy. here i go okay so <sighs> this is how much i've left of this i just love there was like a, a sign of exasperation at the at the, the very start of that that <sighs> didn't you say that you love rice rice i did eat some chips so it has been no more than a minute you still slurp since i stopped eating my food okay and I have... What's that? Candy. Why? Why do you have candy? Why would you even record this shit? Like, you just want people to say shit about you? This is the reason why people don't like you, Amber. This is the reason, bro. You're sitting here talking about and you're crying about how you want to lose weight. And then you body slam an entire Mexican. And then after that, you sitting there eating candy? What the fuck? You, talk, you just literally were crying about how you was big as hell like a day ago. I have Twix. Damn, that's a lot too, Amber. God damn! I have okay, bro. Like, let's, come Simple on, man. Caramel, this is crazy. Way. Come, come on, bro. How and is there more? A regular Milky Way. I ended up having all of the Twix. The whole thing. You're fucking gross. What a gross human being guys like like that'd be the, literally the equivalent of me making a video going like guys i had a relapse i had a relapse last night i did it again i i i keep doing this i can't keep i, just, I gotta stop i can't keep having this cycle repeat over and over again the other night i was at the truck stop and i don't know what i was doing there you guys know i have this problem i was at the truck stop and a big burly man showed up, got out of his 18-wheeler, hopped down out of his truck, and asked me if I was a lot lizard. And I said, yes, I am a lot. I was dressed, I, I was dressed like an e-boy. I did have a tutu on, and I, but it wasn't my fault. That's how I dress organically. 
And he said, meet me in the truck. And this man obviously smelt like goats. He smelt like literal Middle Eastern goats. He hadn't taken a shower in days. He hadn't been on the road all day. Anyway, I went into his truck. I sucked him off. I didn't even get paid. Um, I did it for the sheer enjoyment of it. And I'm just sitting here thinking like, why would I ever do that? Like, it's so crazy to think that I have this problem with satisfying men through the process of oral satisfaction. And I keep doing, I'm not going to do it anymore. Hold on. I just actually got a call from that same truck guy. He did have a big meat. I might have to go and gobble that shit up real quick one more time just for the one time. Uh, just one more time. Just one more time. It's not that big of a deal. Like, it was, it was pretty big. <laughs> it had some flavor on it, too. It seemed like he had, he took... He had a packet of ramen in the back, chicken flavored, and he just kind of took the packet, popped it open, and he just right across the meat. Obviously, I had to. I had to put my mouth upon it. There was nothing else. Like, I had to. It was my, like, it's just like, how many times can you say this, Amber? How many times can you sit here and cry about the same shit? Yeah, I'm crying. Yeah, you already know that I'm about to be pieing, I pieing, sighing. Put my dick inside her and I'm lying. I don't know what we're doing, man. I'm just like, what are we doing here? What a depressing person. What a dirty, disgusting. What is this? What are you eating right here? Chips Ahoy? You dirty, bro. What are we? <laughs> it's just like, it's just like, it's just, it's just exactly the scenario I laid out. Like a guy at a glory hole just receiving a penis and going, just crying about it. Like, I can't stop myself. I can't. I have to keep. I just. <clears throat> I just, I don't know why I keep doing this. I just don't know. <clears throat> like, what do we, uh, why? Why should, why would you record yourself doing this? Go off, queen. Are they good? Oh my God. Recorded, I've recorded myself eating them on camera so everybody can see that I have a problem. What a dirty person, man. What a disgusting human being. But you're not disgusting. You smell great today. But anyway, guys, that's the end of the video. I hope everybody enjoyed today's video. If you did, I'd appreciate everybody leave a like, comment, subscribe, sharing the video, all that stuff. I'd appreciate tremendously if you watch the video in its entirety. Leave it down below. I type in flowers because they're beautiful and they're fantastic and they smell really good sometimes depending on the flower, of course. Not all flowers smell really, really good. I remember one time when I was a kid, I did pick up a flower. I thought it smelled really good or whatever yeah, because I thought that's how flowers worked. And I picked it up and uh, my mom, like, you know, smacked it out of my hand because a dog had peed on it. I, it makes sense. You know, it's not, you know, it is what it is, bro. What the fuck? Like, I picked up a pee flower. A dog peed on it. Or maybe it wasn't even a dog. It could have been, like, a homeless guy. or It was pretty common at that point in time for people just pee outside. Uh, but you can't do that anymore. You, It's against the laws, depending on where you live, to pee outside on things. Um, so I'll, don't do that. I don't know where you live, but where I live, you can't pee on things anymore, which is crazy. Uh, it's my God given right to whip out meat and pee upon bush, but can't do that. Anyway, you're a beautiful specimen of humanity. I love, I love, I love your cheekbones. Those are great. Those are amazing. Well-defined, uh, great, great portions upon your face. It looks good. Smells good. Your armpits, by the way, um, I was acknowledging earlier today when I was talking about the lack of deodorant, I had uh, smelled it a little bit and I'd realized that you hadn't been worn deodorant in a good amount of time, but you don't need it. You don't, you smell really, really good as is. Oh, you smell really good. Actually kind of probably a little bit too problematic for me. I got to stay away from you. Otherwise I might have to smell you even some more, but anyway, guys, so we're going to end the video here. If you want to check out my social medias, they'll be listed down below and in the description. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys.